was good, Chavis Crew was happening. What's the Chavis Crew, my family? You guys are an extension of that. I'm back with another video for you guys today, sharing my raw, unfiltered, and uncut opinion on the new Fragment Air Jordan 3. Man, y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for this, man, because some people ain't gonna like to hear what I gotta say straight up. But before we get into business, y'all already know the vibes. Shout out to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for a new day, a new opportunity to continue to do what you've called me to do here on this earth. If you see anything good in my life, if you see anything good happening to me, um, any good things that I have, whether it's my beautiful wife, my beautiful son, just know that all my blessings come from God and God alone. I want him to get the glory, honor, and praise, not me, man. So shout out to God for a new day, a new opportunity to continue just to live, man, just to, to be able to continue you know, on the legacy and to do what he has called me to do here on this earth, man. Shout out to God. And other business as well, man. Look, we creeping up on that thousand subscriber mark, man. We almost there. We just got to keep pushing it, keep pushing it, keep pushing it. All right. We have, I think we're like 948, 947 last time I checked. We like 53 away, man. 53, 52 subscribers away. So make sure if you're watching this video right now, man, it's not going to cost you anything. Hit that like button. It does a lot for the algorithm of this channel, and it'll push it out there so more people can watch this dope content, man. So you'll make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, tell a friend and tell a friend to pull up on this channel, man. So much more heat coming soon. All right, guys. So we're here to talk about the Air Jordan 3 Fragment. Um, I'm pretty sure we all know what it looks like by now. Mostly white and black, very boring, very dull shoe. But why is there so much hype behind it? So let's start with the particulars. First of all, these shoes are going to release Thursday, September 17th at 10 a.m. on Nike sneakers and other select retailers. What do you need to know? Hiroshi Fiji Wara's second collaboration with the Jordan brand is highlighted by the Air Jordan 3, a pair dressed in a white upper and black mudguard. Fragment's lighting bolt logo appears stamped on the lateral heel in a larger fashion behind a translucent heel tab. The collaborative capsule will also include matching apparel and a gray colorway of an air cadence. All right. So just my thoughts, the fragment Jordan 1, decent Jordan 1, still very plain in my opinion. Very plain, just a nice little lightning bolt um, um, there on the heel um, as well, um, or more toward the back of the shoe, but not quite on the back of the heel, but on the side of the heel, I would say. But those are so much better than these. In my opinion, these fragment Jordan 3s are straight trash, just trash. Just hear me out. They're trash, first of all, because a shoe very similar, the Tinker White University Red, the Air Max Day joints, were very, very similar to these with a little bit more details. In my opinion, these look better than those. I know the quality may be different, but these look better than those. And the retail value of these, under retail at $179 in my size on StockX. The resale value of the Fragment Jordan 3, even though I know it's a limited shoe, I'm just basing my opinion off of looks alone. This shoe is going for between $1,200 and $1,600 on the resale market already. That's insane. This shoe is terrible. This shoe is ugly. This shoe is very basic. If it did not have a Fragment logo, I don't care how limited it was. If it didn't have that Fragment logo, they would be sitting out, out at the Nike outlets. They would be sitting anywhere they could possibly sit at. They would be sitting at Foot Locker. They would be sitting at Foot Action. But now you bring those resellers in there. So I'm starting to kind of think that Nike is kind of catering to the reseller, like why not put out more product if it's more money for you rather than the resellers 
are actually able to capitalize and make a lot more money than you could possibly make on these shoes or a lot more money is to be made. So I'm just trying to get a, a better understanding of what Nike is trying to do with some of these things by limiting these shoes so much. Like this shoe is going to be extremely limited and which I do get though, because a lot of people go after things that a lot of people can't get. That's just like, a, it's like a rat race. Like everybody's trying to get this. Everybody's trying to get this. Everybody's trying to get this. So if you can get your hands on something that everybody can't get, that's when people start to go crazy about it. But some other things that I did notice about this shoe, just looking at it right now, the quality on these are going to be stupid. Like the leather, the leather on Jordan 3s are already lit. But this buttery leather on these, I feel like these about to be crazy. Like as far as the leather quality, these are crazy. But in my opinion, and I know I just got the denim Jordan 3s. Don't kill your boy. But I got those because I wanted to do an early review and I had an outfit already planned in my mind for those. Those might end up getting sold. I don't know. But at least that was a reasonable price. These are going crazy. And they're plain. I'm not a fan of the mostly white upper shoe. That's just not my style. I don't really like it. But you know what, though? I don't necessarily like this shoe. But I would rock this shoe. I would most definitely rock this shoe. I probably would possibly even put black laces in them. Kind of make it pop just a little bit more. It look a little bit different. It's real San Antonio Spurs right now. Real boring basketball, system basketball right now. This ain't the fun highlighting Rockets. This the the Spurs of old. Tim Duncan off the glass. That's what these are. like. But at the same time, man, you know, to each their own, you know, to each their own. But I'm just talking about just hearing some people say, yo, we got pre-orders. 1600 act on it fast they're gonna go fast what 1600 for this come on bro that's a little that's a little 1992 honda civic on these no sir no sir i'm sorry i'm sorry and if you're trying to get them for re retail good luck good luck it's a dirty game man a lot nobody's gonna get these shoes i'm just gonna keep it 100 with you these pairs are gonna be back door they worth too much money it's like a pot of gold it's not like a, a Air Dior release where they release it a certain way. These joints just going to be released. These joints is going to be raffled off. They're going to have them raffles so rigged, man. Good luck on trying to get these guys straight up. But what, what, one thing I do like and, and what they've added on, you know, this shoe that I do like is a Fragment logo with that clear heel tab. I really like that. I think that's a good touch on the shoe. Um, can't be mad at that. Um... Man, it, it, you can't even really describe this shoe. Like, the mud guard is black. The rest of the shoe is white. No. No. I wonder if it's going to come with extra laces. I wonder if it's going to... Like, I would put some different... Maybe red laces in here would make it pop just to look different. Maybe highlighter laces. Maybe, you know, some off color or whatever color. Maybe some green laces. Some green laces. Like... And uh, the Jordan box actually looks pretty cool. Um, I, I'm guessing this is the original box. Uh, uh, Z Sneakerheads posted this. Shout out to Z Sneakerheads. He posted um, some uh, official images, in-hand images. So, you know, the box looks pretty cool. It's a navy and a royal box with the white jump man in the middle. Pretty cool. Pretty normal standard. I'm not sure what the other box was looking like um, on the other fragments, but... Yeah, man, y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think about these guys, man. How y'all feel about these Jordan 3 fragments? Would you pay resale on these? I'm pretty sure over time the value is going to increase. Would you pay resale on these? Would you rock these? Would you buy these right now and put these on your feet knowing how much they worth? Not me. Never. I wouldn't say never, but not right now. <laughs> For sure that. But yeah, man, y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think about these guys. Straight up. Yeah, man, thank you guys for watching today's video. I just wanted to give y'all my first thoughts on this Air Jordan 3 fragment that's been going all over the place, man. People have been talking about it like crazy. I've been seeing images, everything. They're not getting better for me. They just, they're a very, very plain shoe. I'm pretty sure they may come with extra laces. May make them look a little bit better. I saw a couple early reviews as well. I'm not impressed. The, the leather looks good. But the leather has looked good on plenty of other shoes, in my opinion. And the leather on Jordan 3s 
are naturally pretty decent anyway. So, you know, that's just my opinion on those. Y'all let me know how y'all feel on that, man. I really appreciate the continued love and support that you guys continue to show to this channel. There's so much more coming down the pipeline, so make sure y'all stay tuned. We almost hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. I know y'all ready to see my collection. I'm ready to show you guys, so y'all make sure y'all keep sharing it. Tell a friend and tell a friend to pull up on this channel. And y'all know the slogan. God is love. God loves you. I love you. Chavis crew.